All right, so question is, what are your thoughts on personal branding versus using an agency brand for YouTube channel and the website under which you take projects? I think it varies based on your, your topic. You know, we, we do pay a lot of influencers um, to help with marketing where they've got a personal brand and um, individual people follow that personal brand. My kid follows Jake Paul, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a personal brand, right? Uh, but there's also there's also Watch Mojo, you know, and um, uh, you know BuzzFeed, and and there's so many other brands that are out there that aren't people that do have people with them um, that that do really well. I would say if you're one person and you're the guy that's going to be on camera 90% of the time, um, make it about you. Build your personal brand out, and as, as you grow and you build more relationships and and grow your team, you may you may evolve that to um, something else. Remember Dane Bow? What was the guy's name that ran the Annoying Orange? He had his thing for a while, and then he started Annoying Orange. So it went from being personal brand to being you know a, a you know a character brand. I think that's kind of the the way to grow outward. Try everything. Try you know try some uh, you know different themes and and see what kind of takes off. So. Uh, the funny thing is actually Steve has a agency brand, right? And it's Weldman Consulting. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Or no, it's uh, Weedman, right? You got it. Sorry. Um, I always think there's an L in there for some reason. Uh, and then I've actually made a personal brand. I can tell you from a personal brand perspective, when it comes to creating content, it's a lot easier because it's like, oh, Chase Reiner, you know, SEO just created a new video. But when it comes to like fulfilling agency work and stuff like that, that's when it gets really confusing because people are like, oh, well, I'm hiring Chase, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, this is the agency. We're, you're getting an audit from Chase, but then the workers, the in-house workers are fulfilling the work. And then it gets kind of confusing, right? Mm -hmm. So there are downfalls. Like, I remember I heard Neil Patel once say that he wished he would have created a um, agency brand rather than a personal brand. But mm -hmm. even I thought that at some point, but I don't know if that's necessarily true because I don't know if I would have gotten as much traction if I would have done, and from a content perspective, if I would have done a bunch of, um, you know, content from a, an agency standpoint. We, um, we opened our office in Brazil a couple months ago and we went with, instead of Wiedemann Consulting Group or my name, we, we just went with the name Wiedemann and we're calling it Wiedemann Brazil. And, um, and it's unique, it's different, it stands out. It's still my name, but my name's very uncommon. So if you have a very common name, you know, that's where it's gonna get tricky, but you know, mine's, you know, a little bit, um, a little bit out there. So it's, um, it, it kind of made sense for us and that's, it's worked. I mean, people, people go, what's, what's Wiedemann, right? Um, so it, it builds some some interest and um, it seems to be doing pretty good down there so far.